Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to recommend you guys my favorite sunscreens. Now I know this hair video has been requested so many times and I was actually gathering up all my sunscreen that I have used a lot in the past and I have actually got some new sunscreen as well and together I decided to compile them all in one video so thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel thank you so much for hanging out with me I post makeup and skincare related videos on this channel here twice a week which is Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you like the vibe here uh, you can hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell as well so without further ado let's get started so the first sunscreen that I'm going to talk about is the Bodywise Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Now this has 30 SPF. Whenever you're getting any sunscreen, make sure that it has at least 30 SPF. Below that, any sunscreen is useless. So yeah, this has SPF 30 in it. This retails for rupees 400 and you guys know I have repurchased this sunscreen like twice already and I use this sunscreen a lot. The consistency of this sunscreen I would say is kind of in between a cream and a watery formula. I really love the consistency so much. It really seeps into my skin very very nicely and although it is a physical sunscreen it doesn't give any flashback or it doesn't give that white cast too much I would say. I would say that this is, will be good for combination to dry skin people. Oily skin may find this it's not whatsoever it's not sticky at all but oily skin may find this a little you know more hydrating i mean it's a hydrating kind of a foundation why am i saying foundation it's a hydrating sunscreen so yeah so this is actually on the a little, little bit on the hydrating side so oily skin people may find it to be too you know too oily i don't know it's not that oily for me but i have dry skin so i just feel like it's going to suit more combination on normal and dry skin people and i really love this because it definitely like looks like skin it's not looking like it's sitting on top of my skin whatsoever and obviously it's a sunscreen so you have to reapply after every three hours so yeah i really do like it and i use this mostly when i am just staying at home and i just have to say that i always apply sunscreen whenever i am at home also so yeah this is like my go-to everyday kind of uh sunscreen and it wears really good under makeup as well also this uh, sunscreen contains fragrance but it's very on the mild side so just a heads up if you have sensitive skin and if you are wanting to get you know get your hands on a fragrance free sunscreen it's not but the fragrance is very 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 mild on this and it it's not going to irritate your skin so the next sunscreen that i'm going to talk about is going to be amazing if you have oily skin now this is the plum sunscreen this is the sheer matte day cream it says day cream but it's actually a sunscreen now this sunscreen i would say it's definitely for oily skin people and it is a physical sunscreen and it has 50 spf in it the price of this sunscreen actually retails for 520 rupees but i will leave a code on the description box where you can get this like on off a little off if you use my code which is definitely not an affiliate code i do have to say that so this sunscreen i really feel like it's going to be as i said amazing for oily skin people it's a matte sunscreen it definitely is not that good for dry skin people normal skin people can also use this the only thing i don't like about this you know sunscreen is that it leaves a white cast and i honestly don't have a problem with that because most physical sunscreen actually does that and sunscreens like it doesn't sit on top of the skin that's something that i really like even though it has a white cast to it it doesn't sit on top of the skin so if white cast is not a major problem for you you can get this also again as i said it's meant for oily skin people and it is very very on the matte side so if you don't like that that slippery or that hydrating feeling of a sunscreen you are going to love this and also i just feel like from all the sunscreens that i have this actually stays like put and yeah i really do like this when the like the weather is too humid and if i put all of my other sunscreen when the weather is too humid i can sweat sometimes so this is when i pull this baby out i really like this it's something that you know i wear on underneath my makeup because this has a white cast 
so yeah i really don't have a problem with the white cast but yeah this also has fragrance to it so again if you are someone who doesn't want fragrance this is not going to be your pick the fragrance i would say is a little moderate on the moderate side it's not too mild obviously once you put this on it goes away but i just want to say it's not too mild and this is a physical sunscreen so the next sunscreen that i have is the blessing tree sunscreen lotion now this sunscreen retails for 200 rupees and this is my new favorite sunscreen to be very honest this is actually a physical sunscreen and it has 50 spf in it now this sunscreen i feel like it's the best sunscreen for i would say dry skin people the consistency of this sunscreen is on the liquid side it's very liquidy and i would say that this sunscreen whenever you put this on it just like looks like like a glossy you have that glossy type of dewy type of skin i really do like this all so many subscriber actually recommended this to me, like recommended me to try out this sunscreen and that is why i tried this out and i am like really really impressed this also has fragrance in it but it's very on the mild side it's very very mild and again if you are someone who has extremely dry skin or just dry skin you know even combination skin can use this if you are someone who's looking for a good hydrating kind of a sunscreen i would say definitely this is going to be your pick also it's very very on the affordable side so i really do like this sunscreen a lot you can totally see how my skin looks when i apply this sunscreen i really really love this a lot so the next sunscreen I have to talk about is this Requil sunscreen. Now this is 50 SPF. This is actually a chemical sunscreen. Now this actually has 50, as I said, 50 SPF. It's a chemical sunscreen and it retails for 460 rupees. Now if you use my code Arnakshi, you can get 20% off. I really like this sunscreen. Uh, for a chemical, I don't use a lot of chemical sunscreen, but for a chemical sunscreen, I really do like this. And I know a lot of you guys that purchased this sunscreen on my recommendation actually i purchased this sunscreen on my friend's recommendation rema she loves this sunscreen and i can see why this is not going to leave a white cast on your skin whatsoever and also i do want to say that if you are someone who is just wanting that kind of you don't want too hydrating of a you know sunscreen you don't want too matte sunscreen as well you just want a mixture of both of them this is going to suit you it's going to suit i feel like oily skin people dry skin people combination normal skin i just feel like this is going to suit all skin types and i really love the consistency of this uh sunscreen too it's very on the liquid side and you can see that this actually just blends into my skin so well and i really do like this a lot this sunscreen i have repurchased like three tubes of this sunscreen and i just feel like it's like a go-to sunscreen it's my go-to sunscreen and whenever i feel like i don't know what sunscreen to use today i just pick this one out because this this is a really good sunscreen for me it's not as i said it's not sticky at all it stays on like it just looks good underneath makeup as well and it doesn't leave a white cast so if your problem if you have that problem you know of white cast if you just use a sunscreen and go out the door you don't like to apply any foundation on top this is going to be your pick so the next sunscreen that i have here is this lotus sunscreen now this is a tinted sunscreen and this is a chemical sunscreen okay i'm not 100 percent sure on this thing if it's a chemical sunscreen or a physical sunscreen i read the ingredients and i feel like this is a chemical sunscreen but let me know if i'm wrong obviously so this actually has spf of 40 in it and this retails for 275 rupees now this has fragrance in it and it's very on the mild side and this actually i love the consistency of this so much it has this watery kind of consistency and it's tinted so it doesn't leave a white cast at all so if you are someone who's wanting that tinted sunscreen but you want it like a cheaper tinted sunscreen this is going to be your pick although i do have to say that this is not the best sunscreen for sensitive skin people now today i have used this sunscreen on my skin and this sunscreen doesn't peel up or anything i know a lot of tinted sunscreen actually have done that in the past but this one doesn't the consistency of this sunscreen on my skin i would say i wouldn't say it's too glowy or too matte it's right somewhere in the middle and it says it's a matte sunscreen but i feel like it's not a complete 
flat matte sunscreen the plump sunscreen i feel like it's totally a matte kind of a consistency but with this lotus one it's somewhere right in the middle which i really really love this is going to suit more much more oily skin oily skin type normal skin even dry skin you just need to put a hydrating moisturizer underneath and you're going to love this and if you just want to go out that door you don't want to apply a bb cream you don't want anything you know you don't want to apply a sun foundation or anything this is going to be your best pick also i love this because it just makes my skin look good you know none of the sunscreen does that this actually does it i don't know why but but for some reason whenever i put this sunscreen my skin just looks very very good and i really do like it but i do have to say that if you have sensitive skin please keep on this sunscreen because i have noticed that whenever i am having like sensitive skin sometimes my i my skin would freak out when i would use this sunscreen so yeah for some reason this sunscreen doesn't go with sensitive skin so just skip this if you have sensitive skin so the next sunscreen i have here is a little bit on the higher side like price wise this is the earth rhythm ultra defense sunscreen now this is also a 50 spf sunscreen and this retails for 675 rupees now this sunscreen i would say is a physical sunscreen and it is going to be amazing for sensitive skin people as well now if you are someone who's looking for a no fragrance sunscreen this one is going to give you that i really love this because it doesn't leave too much of a white cast on your skin obviously it is going to have a little bit of white cast all physical sunscreen do if it's not tinted and not in a tinted form this is also going to leave a little bit of that white cast but i really love the consistency of this sunscreen too it's right like watery kind of a formula and a kind of cream formula mixed together it's like a hybrid kind of a thing and i really love how it applies on my skin too it never looks tacky it never looks like it's too sticky or it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the skin and i really like this when i feel like my skin is too sensitive and you know i love it on the days when i feel like i don't know what sunscreen to use or my skin just has a lot of texture a lot of acne this is the sunscreen i pull out and i feel like it gives me no reactions at all and it looks very good underneath makeup as well so i feel like if you want to get this earth rhythm sunscreen the best time to get is when earth rhythm is on off and earth rhythm comes on sale so many times like it's like on 30 percent sale 35 percent sale so just keep an eye out on earth rhythm and whenever they go on sale grab this sunscreen and you don't have to spend like 675 rupees on this so the last sunscreen that i have to talk about and i have done a full-on dedicated review on this and that is why i don't want to talk too much on this sunscreen this is the requils sheer zinc tinted sunscreen now this is a very different type of sunscreen that i have from the rest of the pile that is why i kept this as my last sunscreen i like this sunscreen but i have my days when i don't like it also now i like this sunscreen whenever i just have to go out this is only a sunscreen that i put on while going out or underneath makeup this has the consistency of a silicone based primer if you have ever used a silicone based primer you're going to know what i'm talking about it has that waxy kind of a feel to it i like it and that is why this sunscreen is quite unique because i don't have a sunscreen that has this formulation now this has 50 spf in it and it is a physical sunscreen and this one retails for actually 795 rupees so this is like the a little bit on the pricey side so, but if you use my code arnakshi you can get 20 percent off on this so anyway this has a tint to it and the tint is i wouldn't say to you know it's it's a neutral kind of a tint it has a little bit of pink undertone to it i mean it obviously blends in with your skin whenever you are applying this and i feel like you need to really moisturize your skin before applying this and then it sits on your skin so nicely 
whenever I am just I just have to go out and I don't have time to apply my BB cream this is the sunscreen I pull out and I really really like this sunscreen a lot I know it's a little on the expensive side but if you are wanting to just have a sunscreen to go out and you don't want to apply a BB cream at all you are going to love this and also also for some weird reason I find that this sunscreen actually smoothens out this area like texture and all because this has that silicone type of a consistency to it so I just feel like this actually smooths out my skin a lot and you can see that in my dedicated review on this as well uh, this actually smooths out my skin and I just feel like none of my sunscreens do that and again I just want to say that this consistency is not too matte not too drying but obviously it's not hydrating it definitely looks very smooth that's what I would say you know it depends on what moisturizer you're using underneath this foundation of sunscreen obviously but this actually is quite smoothening on the skin this sunscreen is actually a fragrance free sunscreen and i feel like this is going to suit everyone and if even if it's a little expensive you can see i haven't used that much of it because i only as i said i only use this when i am going out and about inside i don't like to use this because obviously first it's a little on the expensive side and second you know it's not necessary to apply this sunscreen inside your home i feel like because even if any of the other sunscreen leave a white cast or you know if it's a hydrating kind of a uh, sunscreen i do like that but when i'm going out obviously i don't want the white cast in it and obviously i would want my skin to look a little smoother whenever i'm not wearing any foundation so this one does that so that is why i only keep this whenever i am just going outside you know so those are all of my sunscreen recommendations let me know your favorite sunscreen in the comments down below i know a lot of you guys love the blessing tree one but let me know any other sunscreen recommendations i might check them out actually and thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful to someone of you if you are deciding to get sunscreens you know for this summer i mean obviously you have to wear sunscreen all year round and but anyway i just hope this video was helpful to you in any way so thank you so much for watching again if you are someone who's new thank you so much you can hit the subscribe button if you like the vibe here and i will see you guys in my next video bye